again warmly welcome on my youtube channel in the last video of rps we have discussed one example with the preparation of balance sheet in this video we will discuss one more example with three new points so see the amount the balance sheet of india limited as on 31st march 2020 in the balance sheet ordinary shares 5 lakh 40000 8% redeemable preference share 3 lakhs general reserve 12 lakhs security premium 1 lakh 9% debentures 4 lakhs creditors 1 lakh on the asset side land and building 10 lakhs machinery 8 lakhs furniture 1 lakh debtors 2 lakhs stock 3 lakhs and bank balance rupees 2 lakh 40000 total of the balance sheet 26 lakh 40000 see the adjustment number 1 to redeem preference at 5% premium and debenture at 6% premium number 2 One machine of rupees two lakh twenty thousand sold for rupees three lakh twenty thousand. Next, after the above changes were effected, the company issued ordinary shares at ten percent premium to keep the bank balance of rupees two lakh sixty one thousand. It was resolved to issue one bonus share for every three equity shares held. new equity shareholders are not entitled for bonus shares pass necessary general entries and also prepare balance sheet see in this example three new points are given number 1 it is for the redemption of debenture number 2 it is for the bonus share and one more important point it is here given for the closing balance of cash when closing balance of cash is given in the example we have to prepare cash and bank account for the calculation of amount of new shares so see the steps for the calculation first we will calculate amount of rps and amount of debenture then amount of new shares by preparing cash and bank account then amount of crr then amount of bonus share then journal entries and last balance sheet so first we will calculate amount of rps so 8% redeemable preference share rupees 3 lakhs plus redemption premium 15000 total amount of rps 3 lakh 15000 next amount of debentures so debentures value 4 lakhs plus redemption premium 24000 so total amount of debenture 4 lakh 24000 now we have to calculate the amount of new shares by preparing cash and bank account so in the cash and bank account first opening balance 2 lakh 40000 sale of machinery 3 lakh 20000 on the credit side by redemption of rps 3 lakh 15000 by redemption of debentures 4 lakh 24000 and closing balance of cash and bank 2 lakh 61000 total on the credit side 10 lakhs put it on the debit side 10 lakhs find the difference 4 lakh 40000 this is known as the amount of new shares here in the example the instruction is given new shares are issued at 10% premium so this 4 lakh 40000 it is the amount including premium so first we have to make separate the amount for the share capital and the amount for the security premium so face value of 
new equity share capital is equal to four lakh forty thousand divided by total value including premium hundred and ten percent. So we will get rupees four lakhs. Now we can calculate amount of security premium. So it is ten percent on four lakhs. So the value is rupees forty thousand. Now amount of CRR. See here, the face value of RPS is rupees three lakhs, and the face value of new shares is rupees four lakhs. So the required value is less than the available value. It means the face value of RPS is less than the face value of new shares. So here it is not required to make provision. of crr next calculation it is for the amount of bonus share here company issued one bonus share for every three equity shares so equity share 3 bonus share 1 equity share given in the balance sheet 54000 so number of bonus shares are 18000 so the bonus share capital Is eighteen thousand multiply rupees ten, so rupees one lakh eighty thousand. Now we can pass journal entries in the books of company. So the first entry it is for the amount of RPS because here in this example the RPS is fully paid up, so share call is not required. So directly we can start journal entries with the RPS. So the entry is eight percent RPS account debit three lakhs premium on redemption of RPS account debit fifteen thousand to eight percent preference shareholders account credit three lakh fifteen thousand. Second entry it is for the redemption of debenture nine percent debenture account debit four lakhs. Premium on redemption of debenture account debit twenty four thousand to nine percent debenture holders account credit four lakh twenty four thousand. Next entry it is for the issue of new shares. So bank account debit four lakh forty thousand to equity share capital account credit four lakhs. to security premium account credit 40000 next entry it is for the payment to preference shareholders and debenture holders so the entry is preference shareholders account debit 3 lakh 15000 equity shareholders account debit 4 lakh 24000 to bank account credit 7 lakh 39000 so Next entry, it is for the right of premium on redemption of preference share and premium on redemption of debenture. So this premium we can write against the balance of security premium. You see, the security premium is available in the balance sheet also, and it is available in the new shares also. So the entry is security premium account debit to. Premium on redemption of RPS account to premium on redemption of debenture account. So the total value is thirty nine thousand. It is credited to RPS premium account fifteen thousand and premium on redemption of debenture account twenty four thousand. Next entry, it is for the bonus set. So first we will make provision for the bonus set. Then we can issue bonus sale to the shareholders. So first entry it is for the provision, and here we can make provision from the balance of general reserve. So general reserve account debit one lakh eighty thousand to bonus to equity shareholders account credit one lakh eighty thousand. After the provision we can issue bonus to the shareholders. So bonus to equity shareholders account debit. One lakh eighty thousand to equity share capital account credit one lakh eighty thousand. The last entry it is for the sale of machinery. Here 
machinery book value is 2,20,000 and it is sold for 3,20,000. So, it is sells with 1 lakh profit. So, the entry is bank account debit 3,20,000 to machinery account credit 2,20,000 and profit is credit to PNL account rupees 1 lakh. So, these are the general entries for the RPS. Now, we will prepare balance sheet. So, balance sheet of India Limited as on 1st April 2020. So, in the vertical balance sheet, first equity and liabilities. Under that, first shareholders funds. Shareholders funds are classified into two categories. First, share capital. Under that, equity share capital. Here, equity share capital we will write from three sources. First source, it is given in the old balance sheet plus issue of new share capital plus issue of bonus share. So, the total share capital is 11 lakh 20 thousand. Number two, reserves and surplus. In the reserve, first profit and loss account, it is 1 lakh. Next, general reserve. So, general reserve, it is after the provision for bonus set. So, when the balance sheet, general reserve, 12 lakhs minus issue of bonus set, 1 lakh 80,000. So, total 10 lakh 20,000. And the last, security premium. In the balance sheet value, it is 1 lakh plus issue of new share premium is 40,000 minus the write off premium of redemption of RPS and debenture 39,000. So, the net value is 1 lakh 1,000. So, the total of reserves and surplus 12 lakh 21,000. So, total share capital 1120 plus total reserves and surplus 12 lakh 21,000. So, total shareholders funds are 23 lakh 41,000. After the shareholders fund, non current liabilities. In the old balance sheet, debentures are given, but we have redeemed to the debentures, so it is not required to mention here. So, it is dash. And last, current liabilities. Here, one current liability is given and it is creditors. Same value, 1 lakh. So, total of the balance sheet, equity and liability side, 24 lakh 41,000. Now, the second part of the balance sheet, assets. So, in the asset side, first, non-current assets. Under that, first, fixed assets. Fixed assets again classified into two categories. Number one, tangible assets. Number two, intangible assets. So, first we will write tangible assets. Under that, land and building, 10 lakhs. Machinery, we have sold out the machinery for rupees 2 lakh 20 thousand. So, 8 lakhs minus 220. So, it is 5 lakh 80 thousand. And furniture, Remain same 1 lakh. So, total fixed tangible assets 16 lakh 80,000. Intangible assets are not given, so it is dash. Current assets under that first debtors remain same 2 lakhs. Stock again, there is not any change in stock, so 3 lakhs. And closing bank balance 2 lakh 61,000. So, closing bank balance it is given in the example also. 2,61,000. So, total current assets 7,61,000. So, total of the balance sheet again 24,41,000. See, we have discussed the example with three new points. One, it is for the preparation of cash and bank account. Second, it is for the debenture. And third, it is for the issue of bonus set. So, in the next video, we will again discuss one more advanced level practical example of RPS. Take care and thank you very much.